Welcome to Open Dental's Insurance Payment Plans webinar. Insurance payment plans allow the user to manage incremental scheduled payments by the insurance carriers. These plans are directly linked to their respective claims. We'll start by creating an insurance payment plan for this patient. The Payment Plans button is located in the submenu toolbar in the Account module. Click on Payment Plan and then Insurance Payment Plan. You can choose a category, however, these are optional. They just help organize your payment plans into categories. It does not affect the payment plan in any way. If you'd like to add insurance payment plan categories, go to Setup and Definition. Select the patient that the insurance check has been sent for. Select which provider should be receiving the income for that check. And choose the insurance payment plan that's attached to this insurance payment. This will show a list of insurance plans for the family. Choose the correct insurance carrier from the list. You can also check the box for show plans for family which are not in use by the current patient. If the procedure code was sent off to the insurance company and that patient no longer has the insurance plan and it has been dropped, to find old plans in the system, check the box to make them available in the window. The date of agreement will default to today's date and can be backdated if necessary. The total dollar amount here, we're going to just put the dollar amount that we're expecting to receive from the insurance carrier without any write-offs included. So in this case, I'm going to put in the 1725 we're expecting from the insurance company. Our date of first payment that we can change if necessary our down payment amount should be the dollar amount of the check that you're holding. You can include APR for an annual percentage rate of interest attached to the insurance payment plan. And then your next boxes are whether the insurance company said they were sending you a specific number of payments or they gave you a specific dollar amount that would be coming on each check. In this example, I'm going to put down that I found out my insurance carrier is going to be sending six payments. I'll then click on the More Options because they told me they'd be sending the payments quarterly. The very last box in here is our TX Completed Amount. If you don't enter the TX Completed Amount, the payment plan will not create payment plan credits on the patient's account ledger, and the payment plan to the insurance claim may not link back to the payment plan correctly. We'll go ahead and put in our total dollar amount of how much we're expecting to post to the ledger as a credit from the insurance carrier so that we know that our patient portion should be the amount our patient should be paying. We'll then click on the Create Schedule. You'll see here that the down payment shows how much we're getting ready to post today to the claim. Our next payment we're expecting in June and I currently have it listed as 329 because I forgot to change it on the date of first payment. If you need to fix this to show that the next check is actually expected in June, simply change the date of first payment to when you're expecting to receive that very next check and click on the Create Schedule. You'll receive a pop-up saying to replace the existing amortization schedule, asking you if that's correct. We'll click OK and you'll see that I am now expecting that charge to hit on June 29th as a reminder on my payment plan report that I should be expecting to receive a check from Delta. We'll go ahead and click OK now that we have the insurance plan created. Now we can go ahead and post the payment, just like we normally would. With the insurance plan selected, we'll double click into that claim, click on our By Procedure button, and put in how much the check is for. Click on Save, and then finalize the check as normal. Now that we've attached the payment to the insurance claim, you can see that the insurance plan has also been reflected to show that it was paid for the $500. If I double click to open the plan, you can see the check is also attached inside of the payment plan. The remaining balance is the amount my patient is now responsible for, and we're expecting this to be paid by the insurance company over time. If you need to process and finalize subsequent insurance payments via the claim, 
will use the Supplemental Payments button. Let me show you an example of this. This patient already has an insurance payment plan set up. So for receiving additional payments from the insurance carrier, we'll find the claim, double click to open, click on our supplemental button to post an additional payment from the insurance company, and finalize it as normal. Inside of our payment plan, you can see that it attaches additional supplemental payments to the insurance payment plan. If you need to close an insurance payment plan, simply find your patient. We'll double click into the insurance plan. And in this scenario, it's because the insurance company is no longer needing to pay for it. So we can go ahead and go down to the bottom left-hand corner and click on the close plan. The closing plan is used when the plan has either been paid off completely like this one is, or the carrier has stopped making payments. If the amount the insurance paid is less than originally anticipated, a warning will appear. You'll choose yes, and the treatment completed amount will be changed to reflect the amount the carrier actually paid. The outstanding amount will be added to the patient's balance as a patient portion. You'll choose no to return to the payment plan window, and the plan remains open. Let me show you what this will look like. Closing out an insurance payment plan will change the treatment credit amount to match the amount the insurance actually paid. Do you want to continue? We'll say yes. You'll see that it now shows as it closed insurance plan. If you no longer want to see closed insurance payment plan and regular payment plan, you can simply go to the show tab and uncheck the show completed payment plan. There are two reports regarding insurance payment plan. The payment plans report, under reports, standard, and your monthly section for payment plan, and also insurance payment plans past due report. The payment plans report. You'll use this report to view a list of payment plans by guarantor that can be filtered by date range, plan type, providers, clinics, and choose whether or not to view completed payment plans or not. You can also choose to show the family's balance and limit this report to plans that were created within the specific date range that you set. This report provides the following information, provider name, guarantor, insurance payment plan indicator, the principal amount, accumulated interest, the amount paid so far, balances remaining, amount due, and balances remaining that is not yet due. The insurance payments past due report. Use this report to track insurance payment plans with overdue payment. You can filter this report by days past due, provider, and clinic. In this case, we have a patient where the date of last payment doesn't exist, it is five days overdue, and the amount overdue of $29.50. This is obviously a very old unpaid insurance payment plan and should probably be called upon or closed. You can also print this report and export it to a file. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. Make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.